We want to remove from our hearts and our minds anything that is impure that does not agree with God. Look what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Now that word pure, it means to clean, to remove corruption within. When you and I are focused this way with God, no matter how young or old we are, we just say, God, I want to have, not a, we're not going to be perfect, but if the goal is, God, I want to have a pure heart before you. I want to have a pure mind before you. I want to have a, a pure life before you. Look at the promises. They shall see God. Now some of you are going, oh, I can't wait to see God because I was on eBay the other day and somebody had a potato chip that looked like God. So no, no, that's not God. And don't buy it. Don't bid on it, by the way. Oh, I saw Jesus in my living room. You know, people got to be careful with that. Don't stuff. worry about seeing Jesus physically. Worry about seeing him spiritually. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Now what does that mean to see God? Well, it means to see his will. It means to see his purposes. It means to see his plan. It means to be able to see God even when you're on the water and you have no visibility, but you know he's there. I'll settle for that over the potato chip on eBay any day of the see, week. So you want to be able to see God. There's lots of bad theology out there today. And what we're doing is, is we are settling for an obstructed view of God. When we've been given the opportunity as sons and daughters of the Most High God to have a front row seat, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. You're going to see the peace of God, the mercy of God, the grace of God, the empowerment of God, the presence of God. That is what we need in boat loads today. There's lots of us who are settling right now for an obstructed view of the things of God. All because we want to keep masquerading with these toxins in our life. Things like processed food, they don't kill you all at once. You're not going to eat it, you know, a fast food hamburger and you're going to die before you get through the drive through Nobody's saying that. But over time, obviously, your body incurring all of that extra wear and tear because of those types of foods cause chronic problems down the road that, that we didn't sign up for, obviously. The same thing is true with sin and bad choices. Those things that maybe on the front end don't look like they're causing much trouble. Over time, they will become literally a burden upon your heart. We said this last week, it's worth mentioning again, regret is a cruel master. You could alleviate that by purifying your heart.